Good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday. I did not expect to come back here so quickly, um, but I go as the Lord leads. So formalities out of the way. My name is Gary Jean-Baptiste. I'm a follower and disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I come on here or any platform, really, whenever I feel instructed or led of him or my father to do so. And so I'm here. And so I won't be very long. I just have something to say, something to share. Um, and then I will get out of the way and, and start about my work. <laughs> so I'm going to pray first. Father, I just, I, you know, I honor you as always, Father. I love you. I honor those that will be watching, those that are watching. It's an honor to be before you. And it is an honor to be before them. Your, these are your children. And so you've given me the words in which to say. Let them be said succinctly, clear, in boldness, in authority. But obviously, of, as always, Father, in your love. And so... Um, that they may heed the choice and that they may choose wisely the choice that you are giving them, Father. And so um, I yield this scope to you. I yield myself to you. I exercise my dominion as your son and as a king. And I exercise it against any interference that may come through, that may stop, seek to hinder, prevent, or uh, distract from that which I am doing, that which you've instructed me to do. And all the glory will belong to you. In Jesus' name. Amen. And so, um, before I get into what I want to get into, I just want to, um, you know, I want to honor, honor my mother. You know, she, make this very quick. I'm proud of her. She um, uh, released a word of the Lord um, by expounding on the a parable, but the, one of the parables that the Lord Jesus gave in regards to the wheat and the tares. And <clears throat> the context of that is that because it's our first time um, functioning in that capacity as far as teaching, preaching, releasing a word, whatever you want to call it, operating in that in that capacity um, in, the, in a church setting and before the congregation. And so she's done presentations and stuff before, but it's primarily been in terms of her, um, her expertise as a nurse, she's a retired nurse, and so usually when she's asked to do things or she does things, it centers around that topic of health care and things of health and wellness. And so that's really her comfort space. That's her comfort zone. And so to do what she did yesterday was not in her comfort zone in the least. And so it was an assignment. <clears throat> it was very clear it was an assignment. And I am proud of her in the manner in which she delivered it and was used of the Lord to do so. And so um, I honor her. She did this yesterday. And um, it really began to remind me of, you know, many of us who, and this is why I'm bringing it up, many of us who are allowing fear, um, fear of any kind, fear is not, you know, this fear fear manifests or it operates in different capacities, you know, as we as one, many of us know, whether it's a fear of rejection, fear of being hurt, fear of disappointment, fear of failure, whatever it may be, it's all fear. But um, allowing fear um, to uh, stop us from, uh, stepping out <clears throat> of the boat, so to speak, in reference to Peter, um, or stepping out of fear and stepping into our destiny. And so, you know, my prayer <clears throat> is that those who are under the sound of my voice be free from fear and not allow it to hinder and you be able to walk into your calling, your destiny for what the Father has for you. You know, Yahweh spoke to me this, spoke this to me um, some time ago and he said, you know, son, stop being afraid to be great. You know, and it's funny because that actual memory of that post that I posted on Facebook actually was a memory that popped up. Yet was it Friday, which is very ironic and interesting, knowing that my mother was going to be doing her um, her teaching, preaching, whatever you want to call it, um, before the congregation yesterday. It was interesting that memory was there. But he, I posted that. He always spoke to me and said, you know, stop being afraid to be great. And I'm saying that, saying it to you because I haven't really spoke about that over this platform. But he's saying, stop being afraid to be great. You know, stop being afraid to be great. You are worth it. Amen. He sees you as special. He sees you as such. And it's time that you saw yourself in the same way. And so, you know, um, stop allowing fear to hinder that. Amen. And so. I just want to honor her in, in proper um, on this platform, you know, because she, um, I, for me, again, it's always a pleasure for me to see individuals um, 
walk in their scroll, walk in their destiny that the Father has for them. And I know this is the start of her. She gave her yes. And that, that yes was required, but it also had to be obeyed. So that's a two-part thing. You can give your yes, but also the, the yes that you give also has to be obeyed. Amen. And so you have to have both. And so um, it, 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 I know that the Father is pleased with her um, where that's concerned because I know that it's going to begin to unlock a, a subsequent amount of doors. Amen. Certain doors are not unlocked. I don't know why I'm going here. I'm just flowing at this point. Certain doors can only be unlocked through obedience. Amen. Sometimes they're, they're time-based, but a lot of times they're obedient-based. Amen. Because there's a certain thing that you must do in order for that door to be open. And so, and these are, these are not just your, your, I'm talking about destiny doors here. A lot of doors are linked in timing, but a lot of doors also are linked to obedience. And so you can give your yes, but you also have to be obedient because someone needs to see or hear or be in the circumstance to open that door for you. Amen. And so I know of a truth that that, this thing for her is a stepping stone. It's an open door. It's the beginning of what she's going to be walking in the rest of her later years <clears throat> as a woman. She's not, she's, she, I don't consider her old. I mean, she's, she's a senior, uh, officially, but, um, her, her better years are ahead. And so, but that's, this yes had to be given. Amen. So I say that to say prophetically that there are those of you who, who are certain doors are not yet opening and will not open until you're obedient. Amen. And so I'll leave that there. So going back down a bit, <laughs> whatever that's for, going back down a bit, um, what ended up happening, what I really wanted to talk about is evidenced by the title, is that the Lord, the Lord who vindicates and you must choose wisely. So this comes from um, a conversation that I had with, with Yahweh the other day um, in which he revealed to me a circumstance, a situation. I'm not going to get into it, but a circumstance, a situation, um, and a person as far as their actions and so forth. And he revealed this to me. But then he, when he did reveal it to me, the, 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 the revealed to me what's happening, amen, um, I'm trying to be as general as I can be, not to not to uh, say anything. Um, but whatever that was, he revealed it to me concerning the situation, the circumstance, and the person. And he gave me this choice. He said, if you want to deal with it, then proceed. However, if you want me to deal with it, hold thy peace. Hold thy peace. And keep your mouth shut. Well, you didn't say keep your mouth shut. <laughs> hold thy face and hold thy tongue. But I took it as keep your mouth shut. Um, and so um, that says, speaks to many things as far as our maturity. Um, but what I want to say is that he's he's affording, there's individuals that are under the sound of my voice who, who are listening, who will listen. They'll have this same choice presented before them as a test. The Lord is, you remember, you have free will. So he's giving you the choice. He's giving you this choice. So it's up to you. If you want to deal with whatever that is, the situation, then proceed. If you want him to deal with it, hold thy peace. Hold thy peace and hold thy tongue. For it is the Lord who vindicates. Amen? Amen. With that being said, I bless you guys. Love you guys. Choose wisely. To whom it applies. Choose wisely. It's better to leave it in the hands of the sovereign one than in the hands of a, a person who is not yet completely mature. Amen? Amen. So choose wisely. Shalom. God bless you. And I'll see you guys again soon. Maybe next week. Maybe that's my, maybe that's my quarter for the week. I don't know. Maybe I may come back. I'm, I, don't, I don't know. I just go by his leading. And so I had to come here and say this. So it applies. Have a beautiful rest of your day. And as the week has begun, I pray that your week coming, um, this your week continuing is a blessed one as well. That things begin to shift for you. And you have a testimony of the goodness of your father in the land of the living. Amen. So shalom. God bless. And I'll see you guys again soon.